Hi everyone, this is Brad with the Money Dad channel. In this video, I want to show you how to read a candlestick on a stock chart. So I have the S&P 500 pulled up here in TradingView, and I have it set to candlesticks. And we're going to look at a couple of different candlesticks in this video. So you can see on the screen we have green candlesticks and we have red candlesticks. So the most basic information here is that red is a down day on this stock or this fund. This is the S&P 500 index and a green candlestick is an up day. So each one of these candlesticks represents one day and red means that day was down and green means that day was up. Now you may also see up and down days represented in different colors. Sometimes up is white and down is black. You can typically set these colors to whatever you prefer in whatever tool you're using. Uh, but probably most common these days you will see green candlesticks represent up and red candlesticks represent down. So you'll see all of these candlesticks look a little bit different. You have these really wide bodies and then you have these wicks and you have these tails, right? And all of those things mean something. So every single day you have a certain price point where the stock market opened, a certain price point where the stock market closed and everything that happened in between, right? Stock market opens at 9.30 in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time closes at four in the afternoon uh, Eastern Standard Time and a lot of action is happening uh, in between those times, right? A lot of buying and selling. So on a green candlestick, let's take this one for example, you will see the open as the bottom part of the wide body. So right here is where the stock market opened. The top is where the stock market closed. So this is a green candlestick representing an, a, a day where stocks went up. So you started here and ended here. So you went up during the day, right? So you opened right here at this wide part and closed the day right here at this wide part. Now these little sticks on the ends represent how far the price went in the middle of the day. So it went as low as here and as high as here in the middle of the day but ultimately closed the day at this highest part of the wide part of the body. So on a red candlestick, let's take this one for example, uh, it's the same kind of information, but you open the day at the top of the wide body and close the day at the bottom part of the wide body, representing the price going down during the day. You still have your uh, tail and your wick representing how low the price got in the middle of the day and how high the price got in the middle of the day. And there are lots of theories on certain candlesticks uh, representing bullish or bearish activity. Typically you will see if there is a long tail on a candlestick it is bullish because that means that the price went all the way down to here during the day and then came all the way back up to end the day. So the price action was to the upside in the later half of the day or towards the end of the day. That means that the last thing to happen that day was the price was going up, right? It's the most important activity of the day. If we're trying to guess what's going to happen the next day, we want to look at what happened towards the end of the previous day. So we know that this candlestick, for example, this price action went all the way down here at some point during the day, but it ended the day by coming all the way back up, right? Because it closed all the way up here. This is considered very bullish because we climbed all the way back up. Now on the flip side, if you have this long wick on the top, that does not look good for a stock or a fund or any chart that you're looking at because it means that this uh, price came all the way down from here to here to end the day, right? Because this is our closeout for the day, the, the wide, the top of the wide body. So that means the price came all the way up here at some point during the day, but it also came all the way back down. So that is not a good sign for a stock. And you can see in this example, this kind of predicted what was gonna happen the next day. It also came down, right? So you see that there's a little uh, tail on the bottom of this one. It suggests that we are going up the next day and we did. Now it doesn't always work out 
perfectly, right? There are going to be days where a candlestick looks bullish for the next day and the next day ends up being down or vice versa. Uh, this is just a theory and there seems to be a certain level of probability behind it that uh, suggests that this is somewhat reliable, but it's not 100%. Nothing in the stock market is 100%. So this is helpful if you're looking for a little bit of extra information to give you an idea of what's going to happen the next day or where the price action is going. Um, you know, you're not going to be able to predict with 100% certainty what's going to happen the next day, but it, it'll give you a little bit more confidence at least when you know what you're looking at on the candlestick charts. And you absolutely do not have to use this to try to predict anything in the future. You can just look at it to understand what has happened in the past as well. And that's what we talked about, you know, looking at these candlesticks knowing that this stock price got all the way down here, it got all the way up here, and it closed relatively closely to the same spot where it opened that day. By the way, that is called a doji. If a price closes, like right here for example, if a price closes near the same price that it opened, and you had a nice little wick come up, you had a nice little tail come down, it looks like a plus sign, that's called a doji. That just represents a level of uncertainty. It means we don't know where we're going the next day, right? But if you have a doji where there is a longer uh, tail than there is a wick, then it's a little bit more bullish for the next day, right? And vice versa. If you have a doji where the wick is a little bit longer than the tail, then it might be a little bit bearish. So that's pretty much it for the basics of candlesticks. I wanted to keep this pretty brief. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more in-depth analysis or uh, understanding of candlesticks. I, I would be more than happy to uh, dive deeper into this, but I'm going to keep this video at just the basics of candlesticks. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you like stock chart pattern analysis. That's what I do on my channel, Money Dad, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.